dodgy collector of tossing toys, showing the fun to girls and boys. Batman the Superman, Avengers 2, Hot Toys NECA for you. Horror and comic MCU, going out to find the best prices for you. What is good, everybody? Back again. Right here, we have Star Wars Black Series Clone Commander Obi Wan Kenobi. This right here is the Walgreens exclusive that just came out um, today. We're you know I'll show you the box real quick. We're not going to go through this too heavy because we have something that was something I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to get. Um, my wife really wanted it. She wanted the last one. We kept on falling through our fingers. Finally, thank you so much. The store Heroes Hideouts in the Colony Mall um, out of New York. If you ever going through that area, make sure you stop. Check them out. They have everything from wrestling figures, and I'm talking about new, used, old, retro, a little bit of everything. Marvel Legends, um, cards even. A little bit of everything. They have a huge pop wall. I know so many of you guys are pop heads. Um, but he's just cracking in to the little higher end figures. So he was doing Mezco. Those were going good. Got a lot of great ones from him. And now, as you see, boom. This is not his first hot toy. But this is the, I think this is the first one we picked up off of him, right? Best part is, you know, he gave it to us at retail. So we didn't sit here and get bent over and have to... You know, give them the extra love, and they sat there and gave us an amazing deal. Uh, I'm ready to get right into it, but let's go right through it. This right here is Neon Tech Iron Man 2.0 die cast from Hot Toys and Sideshow's collaboration. Movie masterpiece Iron Man 2. Man, that box is amazing looking. You have all this like. This is like textured down here. It's not just plain. Then you have all this. If you get the light, literally, it will show. It'll glow. So anybody who's looking into this, I definitely recommend getting a light to really have it, you know, finish off. What it says right here, feature luminous reflective on the box too. So it's not just the figure. It is the box too. This whole thing is going to, this thing is going to pop. All right, let's keep it going. Let's check the side of this box. Mind you, this is MMS, um, Jesus, I can't even read it. MMS 523, I think. It's very hard to see. But look at that right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. God, I didn't think we were going to get this. This was a San Diego, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, yeah, MMS 523, D29, Hot Toys Presents. Movie masterpiece. You got all the names right here of everybody who worked on it. Man, I'm telling you, if you guys are a Hot Toys fan, an Iron Man fan, a fan of just kick ass figures, buy this one. And mind you, this is a die cast figure. So if you could catch it at retail, it's well worth it. These things, you know, they're really amazing. Going right to that. And let's see, boom. So I did play with it a little bit last night. I can't lie, everybody. I couldn't wait. I know, I know. But there you go. That is the box. Beautiful styrofoam. Everything's going to be safe in here. Says right on it what the hell you're getting into. That looks great. So let's see if I can do this again without doing any damage. So coming out of the bottom, here we go. That's right, and I, I wanted to get the batteries in last night, just because there is a lot of them. The instructions, I'm telling you guys, I know as a man, I don't always like to read instructions, but when you're talking about a high-end figure, use them. There's so many pieces, there's so many little things, you don't want to break something. All right, let's see. How's that coming through? So that right there is the base. Of course, that's going to reflect a bunch of hands. 
Then you got two, um, you know, action pieces right there. Now, here comes the fun. Let's see. Let's see. Here it is. Let's hope this is coming through on the camera good. Um, man. You open this thing up, that, that yellow and black pops. I, I, I can't say anything bad about it. It is freaking gorgeous. So you have extra hands. It's four different sets of hands. I already have the alternate um, weapon setting on him just because I was playing with it last night. I had to take a few photos and I really thought it looked amazing like that. There you go. That's it. Out of the box. So there you go. I only pulled out uh, one of each of the hands out just to show you. I'm not going to go crazy. This is just a toss and toys. We're having some fun with this. So first we'll start with this base. Normal crotch grabber. But this is all going to glow if you get the right lighting. And look at that. Freaking looks sick. Now. So. Typical hand for Iron Man. You know. One of his hands that will articulate with all the fingers. And that one has a light on it. So when you put it on, throw the light on. It will work. This is stuck like this, but it looks great. You know, it looks like he's either attacking or repulsing up. And this closed hand here looks great and it has a piece of armory, armor, whatever, armor, yeah, armory coming out for boom. Look at that. That is sick. So, right here, this is the beast. Like I said, I do have some extra parts on him right now. Like these are normally not there. It doesn't come with them on. You have to put them on. But I like the extra weapon. Um, same thing with the arm. All that. It's just little missiles everywhere. I, I saw that coming out of the box. It's freaking sick. I had to do it. Let's see how it looks. Um, turning the lights off and uh, turning his light on. So, this is him in the pitch black. You get to see you have the lighted eyes. And you can take off that mask and have it even brighter. Then his chest, same thing. It'll show the heart, Tony Stark's heart. That looks great. Um, and then if you see in the dark, because the only way you can really see it is it's got blue by the hands and the chest. All these areas got blue too. So I think it looks great. And there it is. Back with lights on. Honestly, I love this figure. I think it looks great. So that's it with its chest off. Oh, it freaking stands out. The colors look amazing. I think this thing pops. How about you? It's the one I wanted. Um, there he is without his mask on. Just the bright light. Looks really cool, man. It's hard to see. Um, but... He has all this detail in his chest. Let me see if I can get it. But yeah, oh yeah, we can just zoom in, I guess, a little bit and really show off the detail in his chest. But I love it when, you know, you could have it off and still show off all these weapons. Don't get me wrong, I, I could make him look sleek and have just a couple weapons 
you know, no missiles here, none of that, just those two up maybe, or none of the above if he's not being, you know, in attack mode. <clears throat> On his back, he got more right here. This freaking thing is sick. I'm gonna have it set up like him and uh, War Machine are about to take off and fuck some shit up. Cause seriously, I really like it. Um, one last thing I'll show you with uh, with his hand with with that on, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Honestly, I recommend getting it if you have a chance. Okay, so wanted to show again real quick. When you first get him, he will come like this. I'll have a hand on, but as you see, he's a very sleek, no weaponry, weaponry, however you say that damn word, coming out. Looks really simple, but really sleek. You know, if he was just trying to take off or something, flying around, you know. You have tons of articulation with this figure too, don't, don't think you don't. This is how it looks once you start really putting on all of his weapons. You have so much. You know, that that is crazy with how much you got on this figure. And top it off, one of the hands, like I showed you guys before, has this. So really you have so many different looks. That thing is sick. But, you know, I want to know you, what you guys think. Do you guys want to get it? Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Me? I know I really enjoy it. I, I rate this a 9 out of 10. How about you? I say it's a 10 because I've been running it for a long time. So, there you go. You're talking about that's an average score of a 9.5. Honestly, and we're averaging at about 9.5, man. What do you think? If you could find it for a good price, you guys want to buy it, let me know down in the comments. If you guys hate it, let me know why. Personally, I definitely love it. I'm so glad this is going to be in my collection. This is not leaving the collection for many, many years. But, oh, she just gave me a look. I think uh, if this left the collection, she might left me. No, you might get killed over that. <laughs> but, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know, the Budget Collector, we're growing, we're having fun, new stuff coming. That uh, Black Series, I'm going to show you guys this tomorrow or the next day. We'll get this out to you, we'll go right through it, see if we like it. Um, and don't forget, go collect some figs. Peace out everybody. Peace.